the peace. This is Apostle Elliot to some, Dr. Elliot to others. And I wanted to take this moment of time to do a brief teaching on two names that are found in the Bible, actually in the same verse. And the names that I'm referring to is the prophet Jonah and his father, Amittai. Jonah and Amittai. What do these two names mean, especially to us as believers in the body of Christ as we look at the scriptures? Well, what I want to bring to your attention is when you turn to Jonah chapter one, verse one, it says, now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, so now in this, let us first look at this name, Jonah. Now, I remind you when it comes to uh, the scriptural names that begin with J, as we enunciated in our Western world culture, that is not the case when it comes to the Hebraic culture, because there was no such thing as the J or the just sound. Everything had a Y enunciation or a Yah. So the name Jonah is correctly pronounced in the Hebraic culture as Yana, Yana. And the name Yana means dove or pigeon. Now, I know some are saying, well, this prophet's name is based upon a bird. Uh, well, here's the thing that you have to understand. Based upon ancient cultures and even some of the other cultures that we can, we can look at, many of them use uh, birds to deliver messages. All right. So a pigeon or a dove was also used as a messenger for many people, as you would see even in some of the movies, how they would tie uh, a message on the ankle because they would they would train these birds in order to deliver messages from one destination to another. So now when you have that framework of thinking, you can understand a little bit deeper regarding Yana or Jonah, because in this his uh, the root to Yana, i.e. the root word to Yana is Yayin, Y-A-Y-N, which means wine. Now, understand what's really being implied because we all know that wine is considered to be an intoxicant, but what an intoxicant is, is something to put you under the influence all right, so now really understand what is the contextual meaning of Jonah's name, Yana, which is implying a pigeon or a bird that delivers a message that is meant to influence who it is given to or received uh, to put them under the influence of it as an intoxicant. So in that, the prophet Jonah or Yana was one who was being sent in order to influence people and intoxicate them under the mindset of the Lord God versus whatever they have uh, been influenced or, or intoxicated with in their beliefs of other deities or other pagan gods or pantheons. Uh, so now we can understand uh, Jonah's name in its context to really get a real revelation of what he was answering to in his identity. Because remember, even when it comes to names in the Bible, names speak to a characteristic that a person either demonstrates or are living up to. So in conjunction with that, now let's take a minute to look at his father's name, Amittai. Now, the name Amittai translated out of Hebrew means my truth which is really implying the Lord God's truth. Well, in the understanding of why his name is my truth, meaning the Lord's truth, we have to get to the root word within the name Amittai, which is emeth, E-M-E-T-H, which is a, a term that means faithfulness. It means firmness. It means reliability. It means trustworthiness. And the reason being is because it is these characteristics that have been the result of one who has given testimony based upon the judgment that they have been through by the Lord God. So in that, Amittai obtains the name or the identity based on being an individual who has been through many judgments of the Lord God and has had a testimony to enunciate 
their faithfulness, their trustworthiness, their firmness and reliability in the Lord. And in that, they become an example of the Lord's truth. So based upon this, now we probably get a profound revelation as to why his son being birthed from his identity is one that's chosen to be a messenger to influence others to the ways of the living God. So with that being said, I pray this has been a profound word of revelation, clarity uh, to bring you into a whole new understanding not only regarding the prophet Jonah or Yana, but also his father, Amittai, so that assists you in your studies as you move towards your divine destiny in the Lord God through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, 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 and may continual blessings be unto you.